Welcome to Symantec Endpoint Protection for Linux Module 1. Installing Endpoint Protection on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. We will start with a brief overview of some of the features that make Symantec Endpoint Protection for Linux such a powerful, comprehensive, and manageable tool. Then we will describe the procedure for creating and deploying Endpoint Protection on a client machine. Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager can create packages for both Red Hat Fedora and Debian Ubuntu varieties of Linux. While these packages may be installed manually, and this is often done in small or lab environments, software deployment tools are recommended for production environments. Our demonstration will feature a manual installation. To simplify installations, all the modules can be installed with a single script. Symantec Endpoint Protection for Linux protects files using its proprietary antivirus engine. Furthermore, Endpoint Protection can detect new, unknown viruses using heuristic algorithms known as Bloodhound. This technology was developed by Symantec Security Response and only Symantec has it. The Endpoint Protection Manager gives administrators a single point of contact for security and operational statuses. The communication methods used by Endpoint Protection should be familiar to most administrators as they are similar to those commonly used both by Mac and Windows operating systems. The Endpoint Protection Manager features ongoing improvements. Specifically, it has been updated to include the Linux Managed Antivirus feature. Here is a quick overview of Symantec Endpoint Protection for Linux. Note that it can support multiple platforms. It is designed for simple installation, which makes large-scale implementations manageable. It uses multi-layered, multi-faceted protection schemes and updates defensive measures in real-time to protect your systems from the latest threats quickly and automatically. Symantec Endpoint Protection for Linux coordinates its multi-layered technology into a fortress of protection, which ensures safety for your data and your users while maintaining flexibility in administration and provides a wealth of reporting tools for management. No single technology can answer all threats, which is why Symantec customers stand secure within these layered ramparts. Now, let's dive into the process of deploying Symantec's Endpoint Protection for Linux. Here we are on the administrator desktop. Open a terminal session so we can get acquainted with our lab environment. First, verify you are logged in as root. That is essential. Using any other account will either fail the installation outright or create other problems. We also need to see where our Java files are and verify the Java version is sufficient. As you can see, this machine is running Java 1.7 which is above the minimum of 1.5. Now, open the Endpoint Protection Manager console. We will find install packages inside the Admin View selection. Select the Linux install package and export it, specifying the default group. Then, download the package you just created. Now, open your Linux command line interface and navigate to the downloads directory. You can see the file you just created there in a zipped format. Unzip it to see the files and directories inside. Note that one of the files you created was yet another zip file. 
unzip it too. The name of the installation script is install.sh. Launch that script. Even root cannot run that script, at least not yet. A quick check of permissions shows why. It is set with read-only, not execute permissions. Use the Linux change mode command to gain access. You can verify the command changed the needed permissions and the script may now be executed. Launch the installer. There is one more thing to do to make this run successfully. As the screen prompt indicates, the install script can both install and uninstall the product, and it will not run without a parameter. Specify the installation option by including dash "-i". And away it goes. As indicated, the installer performs a number of configuration checks along the way to ensure the product will function properly in its new environment. By minimizing the Linux script window and reverting back to the Windows desktop, you can see that Symantec Endpoint Protection is functioning. Let's see how it looks from the Endpoint Management Console. Select the Clients view, and inside that, choose the default group, which you recall is where we put this new Endpoint machine. There it is, the Linux machine we just added. We can learn about this new machine by opening the Edit Properties option. There you have it. You have completed Module 1, Installing Symantec Endpoint Protection for Linux on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. On behalf of Arpit Badewalk, who developed the content and graphics, and yours truly, Kenneth Thomas, thank you for watching our brief tutorial. We hope it helped you understand this essential aspect of administering Symantec Endpoint Protection for Linux.